the Playboy Prince, as he's also known, uh, decided to change it into uh, what he wanted it to be, Pleasure Gardens. You can, you know, kind of take what you will from that, I guess. Hello guys, we are here uh, somewhere in central London, uh, around kind of what, Marleybone area or something Regions like that? Regent's Park. But we're going to Regent's Park, uh, which is just here, behind here. But yeah, it's another day in the park, so come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. Okay, so here is a bit of a history lesson for you. Um, Regent's Park is named after um, the Prince Regent, who later became the uh, King George the Fourth, I believe. Um, and actually, so it became property of the Crown in about the 1500s when there was a dissolution or dissolving of the monasteries. So I guess this used to be church land. Um, so that's 1500s and then 1800s. Um, the Playboy Prince, as he's also known, uh, decided to change it into uh, what he wanted it to be, pleasure gardens. You can, you know, kind of take what you will from that, I guess. So that's a bit of a history lesson for you about what it's all about. Uh, yes, let's go look at some little pretty things down here. So this section here, uh, you can see. Yeah, there's an usher again. Uh, is Queen Mary's garden. Um, as you can or may not be able to see. Um, it all appears to be different types of roses. For example, song and dance. I think, I guess. Uh, garden glory. Pink perfection, etc. You know, so each section is a different type of rose. Uh, very interesting. Obviously, um, you know, spring has not quite sprung upon us yet. Um, but yeah, I guess it's a sight to see when, like, all the flowers start appearing. Um, yes, uh, look, keep on smiling. As you can see though, some of the um, flowers, spring flowers, have sprung here. So I don't know what these are called, purple ones. But then there are, I know those are daffodils over there. And I have noticed that there have been some cherry blossoms, which maybe you can see over that direction where that lady is. She's playing with them. Um, but yeah, so there are some that are kind of springing up already. I think in Polish, these flowers are called krokusy. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're called krokusy. So um, we will come back to on that one, what's the name in English. Um, yes, they're beautiful. And here is Blair. <laughs> And his lovely eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 
So if you can see here, uh, it looks like you can, I guess more during summer. So yeah, opening hours are like March to October, weather permitting. Uh, you can hire deck chairs, fantastic. Uh, for one pound 80 for an hour or two hours, 280, three hours, 380, four hours, 480, all day, nine pounds. So you have a deck chair all day for nine pounds. I always thought that was a bit weird, but um, you know, if you like deck chairs that much, sure. I'd probably just prefer to lie on the grass. You know, some people don't like getting too natured. Yes, well, that's just me. Anyway, off we go, off we go. Just thought you might like to know that if you want to have your bum not on the grass. Very good. I just wanted to mention that uh, these um, f uh, kind of uh, rose fields behind me, um, uh, when I came here last time in August, um, it was so uh, beautiful smell. So they're all different, colorful yellow, red, pink um, and just walking through them it's amazing um, because you just smell it in the air so come here also in, in the summertime. Clouding over a bit so I put my hat back on it's getting a bit cold uh, but one thing I've noticed uh, maybe you've noticed as well but a lot of the fountains this being one of them uh, actually have blue water. Now I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe it's some prank that some kid's done or I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with something. Who knows? Very interesting though because I don't think, I mean obviously water is not naturally that blue um, and this one you can't see too much because it's quite dark but uh, ones that were around there that were kind of a bit more, sh a bit shallower or maybe the actual fountain itself was like the container of the water was a bit lighter so you could actually see that it was blue. So I think it's been kind of dyed or something like that. Kind of interesting. Why that's done, I don't know. Maybe let me know down in the comments. If you know, let me know. Cool, we're gonna head, I think that direction towards that thing over there. Uh, yes. Ah, so, and as you can see here and maybe up over there is like, the uh, Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously there is theatre shows on exposed to the world, exposed to nature, you know, so if it rains, you get wet, basically. But, you know, that kind of adds to the dynamism of the, um, of the show. Yeah, I have, there was a couple of shows actually through how the years previous, like I guess being here before, um, I was going to be working on them or and or I actually wanted to go to but never actually ended up going uh, So yeah, really interesting because I never actually came past it. So it was interesting to find out where it actually is um, If you're interested, you can go to openairtheatre.com see what's on I don't actually know what's on although there are signs saying Legally Blonde 101 Dalmatians and Antigon which um, I, mean, I know a couple of them, but you know if it's your sort of thing, go check it out, see when it's on, I'm not sure. Nice one. So I think just over here is like the boating section, so you can kind of hire a boat and then kind of get around, around here. Uh, but obviously it's not the summertime again, so it's not happening just yet. I assume it's kind of the same hours as that the uh, deck chairs were. So yeah, check it out. Not sure how much they cost. Um, but yeah, it'd be quite cool to kind of pedal boat around there or boat around there. Uh, yes. Right now I'm standing on what's known as the Long Bridge. Uh, I guess it's long. I've seen longer, but you know, we won't get into that. Uh, yeah. And actually around here there are quite unusual ducks and kind of birds and waterfowl i think it is actually the waterfowl section as well maybe here or over here i'm not sure but yeah there's definitely some very strange uh looking birds that i've never seen before over there over here 
doing a lot of, uh, obviously it's spring-ish, so they're doing a lot of mating calls and trying to tempt each other. Going for dates and chatting. Yeah. All that sort of naughty stuff. No, they produce nature. Okay. <laughs> naughty. Just walking through uh, like the sports fields, as you can see, like the recreation and sports field. Over here, some guys playing football or soccer, depending on where you go from. And this side is a rugby. Um, yeah, and you can kind of see all the way through here, here, here. Uh, I think, um, yeah, all the way through here. And I was just having a little debate with Asha because in New Zealand uh, we play rugby and football during winter. Obviously, these guys are playing football it is winter and then I guess these fields then get changed into something maybe like cricket because cricket is definitely a summer game um, but yeah I don't know uh, let me know is that the same in everywhere or am I just weird coming from New Zealand um, yeah I mean from my imagination um, I would imagine that these come down come down come down and some of these fields, like I said, kind of get changed into um, cricket or and some other summer sport type these are things. Summer. Anyway, let's keep going. So uh, if you were wondering, um, just in case you are coming here at some point or not, the closing times, gosh, I mean, they're all different, quite different. So in January, it is 5 p.m., February, 6 p.m. March, 7 p.m. Um, then it does change to obviously daylight savings and not, which is then 8 p.m. And then April, 9 p.m. May, 9.30 p.m. June, July, 9.30 p.m. or so. August, 9 p.m. September, 8 p.m. October, uh, 8 and then again, sorry, September, 8 p.m. And then October, 7 p.m. but then because of daylight savings it goes to 5 30 p.m. and November December 4 30 p.m. so yeah if you want to get in November December you better come pretty early because obviously kind of I guess works with sundown sunrise sunshine um, but yeah make sure you know those times because it will be closed so I guess they just close this gate here yes uh, we're just gonna head down this way to Regent's Canal so then that kind of then winds all the way up and around there we're gonna head towards the zoo see there we go the zoo 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 uh, yeah gonna head that way but around the canal we can actually see kind of part of the zoo from down I think you kind of walk actually through the zoo and it's on both sides um, but yeah so we'll head that direction we actually just before heard a lion roaring. Um, obviously, I wasn't filming then, so you didn't hear it. But maybe as we head down that way somewhere, you'll hear it as well. Let's see what we can do.